Hello everyone, this is Servbot Steve from Blank for the Masses, and today we're going to be using the Game Boy Player to play the Game Boy. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh, what? What is that? Oh! Yes, today we're playing Kirby's Dream Land 2, otherwise known as Bulimic Puffball in Acid Trip Land. Old game, really loved it as a kid. Anyway. It's pretty much an old platformer that came out for the Game Boy. I think the date's in 1995. Anyway, fun. Let's give it a shot. And today we are on T-Bone Steak Planet? Grassland. Okay. That is one talented hamster. All right. The world layout is pretty simple. Basically, you travel to different worlds, and there's usually a couple of stages, and then a little boss stage here. It's pretty neat. Let's get started. Yes. Eating people. Okay. Stars. You notice when I picked up that star, that little star gauge down at the bottom of the screen went up. It's pretty much like the coins in the Mario series. After you get a certain amount, uh, you get a 1-up. In Kirby, it's a lot easier to get those, but as you notice, there are a lot less of them. Uh, Yay! It's pretty straightforward. Okay. Also, a, the classic gimmick of Kirby, anyone who's played the Super Smash Bros. series hates it, you can fly! Unlike Super Smash Bros, though, there is no limit how long you can stay. Ooh. Copy abilities! Yep, you can get different abilities from certain enemies, another classic Kirby mechanic. And I here have, ooh, I can float. The umbrella. And pretty much just beat people with it. It's pretty awesome. It makes a nice little sound to it, too. Eggs will be scrambled! Oh, oh, little birdie. Kill it! Yeah, it's... This is an old action platformer. It's pretty much... Oh, okay. When you get hit, you lose your ability. Uh, it's pretty much basic rules apply. If something's killable, then it's something on screen. It's that simple. Okay, these doors with the three stars are the uh, end of the stage. And there's a little mini game where you just launch yourself as high as you go, and it's basically based on a timed button press. And the higher up you go, you get different stuff. Works pretty straightforward. And then you get a neat little baton there. Alright. Second stage. And another copy ability. What's today? Fireball! Yeah! Fireball! Fireball again! Do it again! Yeah, fireball! Oh, Oh! Ugh. We didn't stop the fire. Oh well. Ooh, and occasionally there will be little bosses, and this is apparently the fire boss. All right, well that's straightforward. Uh, normally I would just grab the stars he drops when the tackle happens, but in this case we will fight fire with fire. Or not, I apparently suck at my aim. I don't want to tackle him because I will bounce off the walls and, as you can see, rebound right into him. So that's not good. Oh, diagonal attacks. Disagree. Whatever, screw it, let's just blow him up. Aha! That was not good. Jump over again. Yay! Alright. And I get the fire ability, and we get this bag. <gasps> hamster! Fire breathing hamster! Yes, this is Rick the Hamster, and for some reason in the TV show they made it, yes, God save us all, they made a TV show of this insanity. He's Australian. Australian fire breathing hamsters. I don't know where I can get one, but I want one. Ah, it's just 
just... Like, if this was any bit realistic, could you imagine this? A, a fire-breathing hamster with a bulimic puffball riding on top of him. Like, what in the world? Oh well. <laughs> Stage one. Stage two done. Oh! Yeah, you see, there's a one-up at the very top, so if I can master this, that would be really nice to have. Okay. Gosh. I love that music they play for me. Yeah, the different helpers. Uh, yeah, there's actually a couple of these different animals. Get individual theme songs, and their music always plays. It cancels out the normal stage music, so it's amazing. Water. Now, water kind of sucks, because underwater, all your abilities get weakened, as you can help me see now I'm just spitting. How I'm even able to blow any fire at all underwater is a good question. Okay. This is what happened at the, ta at the Tower of Babel. Fire-breathing hamsters, that's what. Power of God, man. Alright. Ooh. Okay. I believe these are called rainbow pieces. Apparently in the manual. Yeah, this thing apparently has a plot. Go figure. King Dedede has stolen the seven rainbow pieces. Go get them. Okay. Jeez. At least it's better than your princess is another castle. Oh well. Now, see, I'm supposed to be able to break these little platforms, but that's impossible. My friend, will, I'll even drop this. I can't breathe them in. Oh my gosh, the hamster breathes in. That's awesome. Um, nah, but this can't be broken with my current ability, and I kind of want that. So let's try and find another one. Umbrella, you are my quest. There we go. Yay, umbrella. Ooh. That's the ability we saw earlier. Go umbrella on him. That's cool. Victory! Ha ha ha. Do 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 do. That's cool. Ha! Ah, my music conquers yours. All right, let's get back to the massacring of cute pogo sticks. I guess so I, I don't even know what that. Means. Um. I mean, look at some of these enemy designs. What is this supposed to be up above me? I'm dead now. I mean, that's a dude riding an apple. That's a pretty freaking huge apple when you think about it. That's as big as me, goodness. Uh, well, it doesn't say much, but I'm apparently about the same size as a hamster. Uh, ooh, more stars. Yeah, we're on level 3 and I already have two level 1-ups. That's not saying a whole lot. You'll notice I had another file at the main menu. Um, I think that has close to 50 lives on it. It's pretty scary. And that's not to say that this game is easy. At the beginning of the game, I mean, I'm blowing through this if you haven't noticed. But, it gets crazy. Boss fight. Okay. Um, I guess I'll keep the umbrella. Oh my god, they gag tied a tree! Johnny Appleseed was a dominatrix. I knew it. Get that gag off, you boy. Why are you dropping apples at me? I'm trying to help you, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is another classic Kirby boss, Wispy Woods, and he's a little different in this one. I don't remember the um, thorns from older games. Not that that's saying much, because it's the second in the series. Oh, trees can cry. Love this music. Victory music. Oh well. Uh, yeah, that's level one. I will be blowing through this game. It is a child's platformer, and the early stages really show that. But yeah, thanks for joining me. I'll be blowing through this game over the next couple weeks, so let's give it a go. See ya.